Are you looking for a job in the medical field that has great pay and great benefits, but you don't want to spend four more years in college racking up huge debt? Well, stay right here because in this video, I'm going to show you how. Hey guys, Josh Rogers here with Custom Careers. On this channel, I teach people how to explore the best careers that only require a couple years of training. And I provide the latest statistics from the US Department of Labor and ONET to back it up. One career that I'm here to tell you about is called cardiovascular technician. In this video, I will show you some important things you need to know to become a cardiovascular tech, such as how much money you can expect to earn and where to receive the training close to your home. So without further ado, let's get to the computer and start researching the career of cardiovascular technician. So we're back and we're continuing to explore the cardiovascular technician career. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to show you around one of my favorite websites for anything occupational related, and that's the ONET database. So I'll go ahead and type in ONET. And we're going to bring ONET up. And this is what it looks like. You can see there's a lot of information there. I'm going to go in and type in cardiovascular. And the first thing that pops up is cardiovascular technologist and technician. Um, there's a lot to look at on the screen. I'm going to show you what I think is important. You know, this is this section is meant to be an overview of ONET and the occupational database. As you can see, there's a lot of information here, which is extremely detailed. So I'm going to show you what I think is important to know. And down the road, maybe I'll do videos uh, really going in, into greater depth of this ONET tool and how you can use it to do your career exploration. Um, so right now I'm going to show you some of the drop-down labels up top. Um, I'll try to go a little slower. As you can see, there's the crosswalks, advanced search, uh, find occupations, help. Um, I'm going to do the find occupations, but before I do that, I want to show you over to the right side, if you can see that little uh, bright outlook and there's a sunshine. Uh, this is a bright outlook career. That means that as we click on Bright Outlook from the drop-down, I'm going to go ahead and, and before I click Go, I'll just tell you that it's a Bright Outlook occupation. They're expected to grow rapidly in the next several years, and there's going to be a lot of job openings. That's very important if you are considering getting retrained in a career. You want to make sure that there is openings. There are going to be openings in this field once you've completed that training and made that financial and time commitment to get that training. You want to know on the other side of that, there's a, going to be a good chance, there's a good paying job waiting for you. So I hope that helps. I'm going to go ahead and click go. And these are all the jobs from A all the way down. I'm going to kind of scroll through fast. You can do this on your own and see that every one of the jobs in these bright outlooks have from A to G, W, wind turbine, wind turbine service technician. So these are all the Bright Outlook careers that you can uh, learn about. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus in on the cardio technician. So I'll scroll all the way up to letter C. And here we are cardiovascular technologist and technician. Once I click on this, it's going to bring me the profile code to the left, the name of the career. Again, you know this is a bright outlook. If you look up just above that, you'll notice that this was updated this year, which is important. We're in 2020, so you want the most up-to-date information to help make your decision on whether or not this is the right career for you. Right underneath the profile code, it tells me that in this career you'll be conducting tests on pulmonary or cardiovascular systems of patients for diagnostic purposes, and it goes into greater depth. 
So underneath that, I think this is very important worth mentioning, the sample of reported job titles. So once you've been trained in this career and you've got your associate's degree and you're ready to start looking for work, chances are any one of these job titles, you will be able to apply for any one of these positions. So they might not all be advertised in the job postings as cardiovascular technologist, but you've got the training for that and the various hospital or clinic, they might call it a little something different. So look here at the job titles and learn what people with the cardiovascular technologist certificate uh, are called, if that makes sense. Again, you can leave me a comment below and I can try to answer your question and go into greater detail on that. So, um, as we scroll down, you'll see that there's a tasks section, technology and skills section, knowledge, more skills, abilities, work activities, detailed work activities, work context, and one of my favorite, job zone. Speak for a moment on job zone and why it's important. So this falls under, as you can see, job zone three. Job zone three are jobs that require medium preparation. That's a good thing. You don't want to get into a job zone. Well, maybe you do, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend a person to jump into a job zone one where there's no training involved. Those are usually a lot less paying, a lot less stability in those jobs. Uh, you know, job zone two might require very minimal training, but job zone three, yes, there is a commitment. There is going to be some schooling involved. It's usually a two-year community college type training, um, and I love community colleges because they're such a great value. On the other side of this, you're looking at a really solid job. Biggest bang for your buck is right here. It's only a two-year program per se, but you're getting the kind of salary that you would with a four-year career maybe even a master's level career. So any questions on job zone three, leave it in a comment below and I can talk a little more about that. I'd like to do a video on that in the future, just job zone three careers. As we scroll below, we get into education and you'll see that 63% of individuals in this career have that associate degree. So that's telling me that chances are wherever you go to get trained in this, you're gonna need that associate degree or that's what they're gonna offer in that school. Which brings me right to my next point. Where do you find the training once you've decided you want this career? Well, this little find training label, I can click on that. I'm in Wisconsin, so I'll click the go button and it's gonna load up and tell me where I can receive training. Now I took a look at this before and I know that Milwaukee Area Technical College They've got a two-year program that's near me. Um, I can go ahead and click on that. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring me to the uh, Milwaukee area or MATC as it's called here. It's going to bring me to their homepage. And from there, I can learn about this program there. I can contact uh, the program directors of this program and learn anything I want to know about this program directly from the source. Okay. As I back out, I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. And I want to scroll down a little more. So once we've got the training, or better yet, before we make the commitment to getting that training, we want to know where are the jobs at. So as you can see right here, we're looking at job openings. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Again. I'm in the 53214 zip code. I will click go. And it's going to give me that profile code again, 29-2031. That's the cardiovascular technician code. There are within 50 miles, I will click show me the jobs. It's thinking. And it's telling me that there's 71 job openings for this profile code or this career within that 50 mile radius. Okay, well that's a little 
that's great to know, but I don't necessarily want to have to drive 50 miles to work. Maybe I just want to go within five miles of my zip code. So I'll do the drop down to five miles, click show jobs, and now I see that there's only 41 jobs with that, which I still think is great within that five mile radius. So if I search through any of these, I can click on this and simply apply once you've got the credentials with that career. And go ahead and begin your career as a cardiovascular technician. Which brings me to my next point. How much can we expect to earn? Well, we know that this career, the median wage is twenty-seven seventy-five, or fifty-seven thousand seven hundred per year, which I think is a great uh, starting wage. And remember, it can go up based on your experience level. If I was to click on go, I know that here in the state of Wisconsin, we're going to earn, let's say, eight thousand dollars, seven thousand more, on average, than the United, rest of the United States for this career. So if I'm living in this state, that might weigh in my decision to go ahead and select this career. If I was in another state where it was, uh, the median wage was much less than the national average, I might explore other careers. So that's another really important tool that you can gain from ONET. I'm gonna go ahead and click back. So this was sort of a brief overview of ONET and how to really dig in and learn a lot about a career. Let me know in the comments section below uh, what you liked about this. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post those and I will try to answer each one of those. The career of cardiovascular tech is a bright outlook and you simply can't go wrong by choosing this as your next career. I hope this video was helpful, but let me know in the comments section below what you thought and what you'd like to see more of. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, jobs come and go, but a career will last a lifetime.